Hi guys, welcome to the channel and kaboom! Yes guys, and today we're going to look at the ultimate guide on how to max out your heroes quickly. Specifically your Dark Elixir heroes, your King, your Queen, and later on the Royal Champion. This guide's going to be from Town Hall 10 to Town Hall 13 because the attack strategy we're going to use, which is the key to level up your heroes, is only really viable from Town Hall 10 plus. Because guys, I've got loads of experience with this. I've got two almost max Town Hall 13 bases with level 75 queens, level 70 plus kings, max royal champions, and you know what? I've just been leveling up this base here. This is my Town Hall 12 base. I've been leveling it up, and I've been thinking, I've used the same strategy to level up all of my heroes, and it's worked perfectly. It's so easy. It's so convenient. I need to share this strategy with you guys. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. I'm going to show you the army now, then a few replays, and that's it. You don't even need your heroes for this army. So let's go check it out. Like I said, we're not going to make it complicated. Here it is at the top. It's an all minor army with heal spells and one poison spell and a wall wrecker normally. You don't even need your heroes. Ideally, you have the Grand Warden to help them out. But guys, this army, it's all elixir. There's no dark elixir cost. It means you're going to be bathing in dark elixir. You have dark elixir coming out of your nostrils. You have no, you won't really, but that'd be that wouldn't be nice. But anyway, yeah, you'll have so much dark elixir. Your king and queen are practically going to be on upgrade all of the time. I love this attack strategy, and it's so easy. You just put the miners down in a line, heal them through the base. There you go. But guys, it is very important at what trophy range you use this attack strategy to make it effective. So I find it works really well around 2000 to 2750 trophy range. There you find plenty of dead bases. It's perfect. And yes, even if you come up against bases that aren't dead, they've got active defenses, you can still take them down. So let's watch some replays. Where are they guys? Here they are. Attack log and just look at the dark elixir we're getting. Nearly 5000, 10000. Thank you very much. Six and a half, nearly eight, six, six, five, seven, six, oh, nine, one. And at the bottom there, 9,200. So this attack here, we've just got a queen uh, and the Grand Warden, no Barbarian King. So let's have a look. I'll just show you how to use it. So this base is not a dead base. You know, it's a Town Hall 12. So you just put the miners down in a line. There you go. Wall Wrecker in the middle. Grand Warden there with the queen. And that's it, guys. I like to use the Grand Warden ability nice and early. Put the heal spells down. One, two, three to help out your troops. And then ideally you're going to have a poison spell. Sometimes I forget. But you have a poison spell just in case there are clan castle troops like this. Sometimes you might want to drop one of the heal spells for a rage spell. So that'd be four heal spells and one rage spell or five heal spells. Either way, you're going to have the poison spell with it. And there we go. You should be able to take out most Town Hall 12 bases really easily. If they're a dead base, it doesn't matter. You're going to take them out. And guys, it's all about maxing out your heroes. It's all going to be about making it easy. You don't, I don't want anyway, from my experience of do, doing this thousands of times, you know, attacks thousands of times to get Dark Elixir. I don't want golems. I don't want funneling. I don't want loads of stuff like that. I want to keep it easy. A quick, easy, effective army. And miners are that army, guys. It really are. So here we go. We're just going through. We're not even going to watch another replay. Okay, we will. We'll watch one more. But here we go. Moving through the base. Put your heal spells down. We've still got the queen ability. And there you go. So easy. So much dark elixir. And that's what it's all about. Because I've been, you know, obviously for the channel, I want to get my uh, bases maxed out as quickly as possible. And this is the attack strategy that has worked perfectly for me. It really has. Miners, I love miners. They are brilliant. Yes, they're not the world's best three-star attack strategy by themselves higher up. But that's not what this is about, this video. This is about maxing out your heroes as quickly as possible and getting that dark elixir. 9,200 dark elixir. Thank you very much. So we'll go and watch another replay now. Let's just check out a random one. Let's see uh, what do we got here. Uh, yeah, we'll go after this one here with 7,000 dark elixir, guys. So here we go, guys. Here's another replay. And admittedly, I think these replays were actually filmed sort of high 2000s over 3000 range. Um, but like I said, the sweet spot for this strategy to be super effective is 2000 to 2750 trophy range. That's where you're going to find loads of dead bases, loads of easy bases to take out, and you will have so much dark elixir. Yes, guys. So anyway, here we go. Mine is again going through the base. Like, look at that. I put three heal spells in a row. It's important you do have a poison spell because you are going to have some bases with clan castle troops uh, and especially if there's balloons and you don't have any heroes or you've only maybe got your Grand Warden, you're going to be thinking, why did I not bring a poison spell as the balloons just fly over your miners? 
and uh, take them all out slowly. So uh, yeah, it still works without any heroes. Uh, you're going to need to mainly target dead bases. And by dead bases, just in case you don't know what I mean, they're bases where the owners haven't logged in for a while. Uh, the Expos, the Inferno Towers are not, they don't have any ammo. Uh, the Collectors are full. That's good. That's a dead base, guys. So there we go. Um, yes, you mainly need to go after them if you've got no heroes. If you've got your Grand Warden, you can still attack some bases. And the Grand Warden and Queen, you can pretty much attack any base. When you've got all three decent level heroes, you can take out any sort of Town Hall 12 base, pretty much. Unless it's totally max and a tricky base, then you might struggle a little bit. Anyway, guys, sorry, yes. Here we go. So uh, we're head back now. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. There's not much more to say. If you want to max out your heroes really quickly, this is just so much fun, quick, easy, and effective, guys. We're going to have a load more attack strategy guides coming your way, farming guides, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the Samus army. This is Samus signing out. Let me know in the video comments what you think of this strategy. Do you think it's just too easy? Don't overcomplicate things. That's what I always say. Keep it simple. Okay, guys, take care. Samus signing out. I will catch you later.